A new tonight, a special meeting was held in Decatur where city and county leaders approved a multi-million dollar settlement in the years-long lawsuit involving 3M. Way 31's Brittany Harry is live at Ingalls Harbor Pavilion now with the latest. Brittany, give us the details now on that settlement. Well, so it was a four to one vote for the city and the county voted unanimously. So we're talking a ninety eight point four million dollar settlement. That's what they agreed to here today. And this settlement was proposed last week and it was approved tonight in this meeting. For us to not approve this after the two attorneys who brought suit against 3M tell us to accept it, I think would be a major mistake. Um, and so I will support it, and uh, that's all I have to say about that. Resolution number 21355 is approved with a vote of four to one. Clark? Yes. Bess? Yes. Abercrombie? Yes. Tonight, the battle with 3M has come to an end with a settlement of nearly $100 million. I feel like it's a long time coming, but there's a long road to go. Uh, I feel some degree of satisfaction that we've gotten to this point, but I know that you know, the most important decisions are yet to come. The money city and county leaders say will be used toward cleaning up the mess that was left behind in Decatur and Morgan County, as well as Decatur Utilities. For six years, the Tennessee Riverkeeper has been in litigation with 3M over the illegal dumping of dangerous chemicals into the Tennessee River. 3M admitted to illegally dumping those cancer-causing chemicals into the river in 2019. 3M has agreed to give all parties involved $98.4 million, and tonight that was approved. Here's the breakdown, where as you can see, $25 million will go to Decatur, Morgan County, and Decatur Utilities. $35 million will be used for a new recreational facility in Ball Fields to replace the Aquadome complex that was built on contaminated ground. And approximately $9 million will be reimbursed for past PFAS costs. Tennessee Riverkeeper believes that this is the right step moving forward, uh, but we have a lot of questions as well. We want to stay on 3M to make sure they clean this up thoroughly. And we believe the citizens also ought to demand public health studies. They have a right to know whether this is in their bodies or not. And so we have everything right now on WayTV.com, including a copy of that resolution if you would like to read more about that, and as well as how this money is going to be spent. But for now, reporting live indicator, Brittany Harry, Way 31 News.